today we are going to talk about the Earth Relief. This project is made by Lucia, Monica, Andrea and Omar. The things that we are going to discuss today are the Earth crust, the Earth Relief, the volcanoes and finally earthquakes. The Earth crust. All the plains, the valleys and depressions and mountains form the relief. The orogeny has created the landforms. The little sphere that is located in the mantle is divided in blocks called the tectonic plates that move very slowly. The Earth's relief. Uh, there are three types, continental, coastal and submarine. The continental interior of continents, it covers most of em emerged land, examples, plains and plateaus. El elevated reliefs, mountains with sharp peaks, sierra lower hills. Coast, coasts, meeting point and continent seas and oceans, mainland forms, cliffs and beaches. Sometimes coastal landforms are affected <laughs> by the action of rivers, deltas, rias. Coastal re uh, submarine, uh, coastal reliefs, submarine, continental, sh b made by shells, and the ocean floor. Submarine landforms, continental shelf, continental slope, ocean ridges, ocean trenches, and abysmal, abyssal plains. Continental landforms, mountain, the ranges, hill plain, sierra plateau, valley, and depressions. Coastal landforms are archipelago, Ria Cape, marshes, peninsula, lagoon, cliff, beaches, no, beach, estuary, and gulf, bay, and coast. Now we are going to watch a video about the landforms. by land and water. We have special names for different kinds of natural features landforms. or landforms on the Earth's surface. Come explore with me the Earth's landforms. The two largest types of landforms are continents and oceans. Oceans and continents. Continents are any one of the largest Listen. land masses in the world. Traditionally, the Earth is divided into seven continents. From largest to smallest, they are Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia. Oceans are large areas of salt water between the continents. Although all of the oceans are connected to each other, making them one big ocean. We divide them into five smaller oceans that are separated by their location and the way the water in them moves. These oceans are the Arctic Ocean, Arctic Ocean the Atlantic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, Pacific Ocean, and the Southern Ocean. Southern Ocean. Oceans are huge. Together, the oceans cover about 70% of the Earth. The Pacific Ocean is both the largest and the deepest ocean. Yes. It covers one third of the Earth's surface. Smaller landforms are created in a variety of ways. Erosion from wind and water can wear down the Earth. Volcanoes and shifting tectonic plates can create new land or change the shape of old land. Let's take a look now at some of the different landforms and bodies of water that cover our planet. Okay. Mountains are some of the biggest and most recognizable landforms. They have steep sides and high peaks that stand out from the land around them. Smaller, less steep landforms are called hills. Mountains are usually formed 
when rock layers are pushed together from opposite sides, forcing the land up in the middle. The low areas between mountains are called valleys. Mountains may also be formed by volcanic activity, when lava and other materials build up on the surface. But mountains aren't the only landforms that can be made by volcanoes. When lava flows into the sea, it can create brand new land. Sometimes, volcanoes in the ocean create islands. An island is a piece of ground that is completely surrounded by water. Islands can be big or small in any part of the world. The biggest island in the world is Greenland. Australia is bigger than Greenland, but it is so big that it is called a continent instead of an island. Two more landforms that involve a little land and a lot of water are peninsulas and isthmuses. An isthmus is a narrow strip of land with water on both sides, connecting two larger pieces of land. A famous example is the Isthmus of Panama that connects North America to South America. A peninsula is a piece of land that has water on three sides, but is connected on the fourth to the mainland. Two well-known peninsulas are Italy and Florida. Coastal areas have their own types of land and forms. Bays, coral reefs, and lagoons are all landforms that may be found on or around the coasts. Another type of coastal landform is the estuary. An estuary is where a river meets the sea. There, the salt water from the ocean mixes with the river's fresh water, and the river spreads out, twisting and turning, wider and wider. Because of the way it spreads out, water in an estuary is generally shallow which allows sunlight to penetrate all the way to the bottom. Rivers are important. Natural features themselves. They are fed by rain or melted snow. The water in rivers is called fresh water because it is not salty like water in the oceans. They begin in high ground, usually in hills or mountains, and follow gravity's pull down to lower ground. Smaller streams meet and join together, forming larger streams and rivers. These large rivers are too, becoming larger and larger, they finally reach the ocean. Sometimes, rivers will flow into large bodies of water before they reach the ocean. A large body of water surrounded by land is called a lake. A small body of water surrounded by land is called a pond. Not all lakes and ponds are water from rivers. Some are filled only by rainfall. Most lakes are filled with fresh water, but some lakes are salty. One famous example of a salty lake is the Great Salt Lake in Utah. Another type of landform is a plain. Plains 
are large areas of flatland with no hills or mountains in them. The Great Plains in the mid-United States is a good example of a large plain. And the point we are going to talk about is the volcanoes. Volcanoes. Volcanoes are landforms that are created by the eruption of materials from the deepest parts of the Earth's crust on the mantle. As you can see, we have some photos of examples of volcanoes. Now, the volcanoes parts. The magma chamber, area where the magma accumulates. The chimney, Open, opening through the, which magma goes inside the volcano. The crater. The upper, the upper part of the volcano where materials are ejected and the volcano cone arrays a it area around the volcano, volcano created by ejected materials. Types of volcanoes. Types of volcanoes. Extremely lower level, spra sporadic eruptions with lots of gases burnt lead. Pillion, very violent eruptions, eject ash and gases. Volcanian, violent explosions, eject volcanic bombs and ash. Vesuvian, violent eruptions with explosions, there's common of gas. And finally, earthquakes. Earthquakes, sometimes the increase in a pressure can cause a release of energy that makes the ground shakes. These earthquakes, these, these are earthquakes, parts of an earthquake. The point where the earthquake starts is the focus. The epicenter is the point on the Earth's surface above the focus. We measure them on the right to our scale. We, when earthquake is produced under the sea, it causes tidal waves. Tsunami. If a tsunami reaches the coast, it can cause catastrophic, catastrophic things. As you can see, what is this photo? And well, this is the end of our presentation. I hope you enjoy it. Bye. Thank you.